Throughout the 1990s, there was no shortage of nerds in both film and television. In fact, for many of us, the term nerd seems to have existed our entire lives. However, popular usage of the word is a relatively new phenomenon in television history and history in general. When you hear the term nerd, what are some of the first images that pop into your head? Well, for me, I think of oversized glasses, high water pants, suspenders, of course. Well, hold on, not so fast. You know, I, I also think of personality traits, someone who is seemingly intelligent, socially awkward, obsessive, especially in the case of unrequited love. <sighs> okay, let's face it. Steve Urkel is probably the quintessential TV nerd of the 90s. He is basically the word nerd on steroids. The creators of Family Matters took every nerd stereotype that they could possibly think of and injected them into the body of this scrawny little kid. Steve Urkel, played by Jaleel White, was introduced to the world in 1989 and was initially created as a minor side character for Family Matters. His role on the show was supposed to last for a limited period of time, but he proved to be incredibly popular with the show's viewing audience and surprisingly went on to dominate the entire sitcom for the next decade. As a 90s kid myself, I grew up with Steve Urkel on television for a good portion of my childhood, so that may explain why I closely associate him with the term nerd. However, what pops into your head when you hear the term is not only based on where you were born, but also when you were born. So before we take a look at the best TV nerds of the 90s, let's flash back to some of the TV nerds that actually preceded and inspired them on Beyond Fame. Now, I know what you're thinking. What does a silly book have to do with nerds? Well, in 1950, Dr. Seuss wrote a book called If I Ran the Zoo, and it's widely believed to contain the first documented use of the word nerd. Of course, the nerd illustrated in the book is quite different from what we envision when we think of the word today. Nonetheless, a nerd was originally a grumpy looking humanoid character with unruly hair and a black shirt. N no, no, Steve, we can't talk about your hair or that episode. Ugh. By the mid-1970s, the term nerd became popularized by the hit TV series Happy Days, often used as a friendly insult directed towards the character Potsy, played by Anson Williams. Now, admittedly, Potsy was never seen as the sharpest tool in the shed, which kind of shows you how much the term has evolved over the years but he did have the reputation of being socially clumsy and a bit of a square. Yes, Urkel, you did manage to have all of those traits, but right now we're talking way before you. Uh, moving on. As the years went by, we started to see many different versions of so-called nerds, but rarely were they prominent characters at the forefront of the story being told. They were often just side characters running gags or would often be spotted in the background of a scene. That is, until the 1980s with the release of the hilarious and somewhat risque film Revenge of the Nerds. The film focused on the lives of two computer science majors who move away from home to attend the fictional Adams College, which was actually filmed at the University of Arizona. Both students are quickly disillusioned with the school experience after being forced out of their dorms by a bunch of jocks representing the university's football team. Pranks are played, hilarity ensues, and I believe someone loses their virginity at some point. Ah, Steve, you're back. Well, great. I'm glad you're here, actually. I, I, had, I did have a semi-related question that I wanted to ask you. Um, now, on Family Matters, before you finally hooked up with Laura, you dated Myra for about five years. Now, it was never explicitly stated in the show, but did you and Myra ever, you know? <laughs> 
yeah, I don't think he'll be back. As the 1990s rolled in, sitcoms hit their audiences with a flurry of TV nerds. I mean, you had Screech Powers on Saved by the Bell, played by actor and comedian Dustin Diamond. Of course, who could forget Paul Pfeiffer on The Wonder Years, played by Josh Saviano. There was also Millhouse on The Simpsons, voiced by Pamela Hayden. Stuart Minkus on Boy Meets World, played by Lee Norris. And some even argue Corey's future girlfriend Topanga was a TV nerd as well. Honestly, there were a plethora of TV nerds throughout the 90s, but... If I had to crown one as the absolute king of all TV nerds, well, the truth is, that would be pretty hard for me to do right now. For some reason, it just feels like I'm missing someone. Alfonso Ribeiro? Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me that Carlton Banks was a TV nerd? I mean, (laughs) okay, technically Carlton could have been, but... Your character could dance and he had way too much rhythm. The hips don't lie. Huh. Well, you know, if you were also a TV nerd, then you probably were the most memorable one. To be honest with you, I was going to give it to Urkel, but since he's not here, I guess. Oh. Hi, Steve. Well, this is awkward. Okay, okay, I've got an idea. The best way to figure out who's the king of all nerds is for you two to have a dance-off. And winner takes all. Well, there can only be one king. See you next time on Beyond Fame.